let's take a look at an example of a production bill of material. The bill of material is the framework for our finished good and production process. Here, we can define a hierarchical arrangement of stages, raw materials, and labor required to produce the finished good. At the header, you can see the parent item. You can also see the plan average production size. So in other words, we are required to produce one finished good. The rows tell us what items and resources are required to build our finished good. We can also define what stages are required throughout the production order process. For example, stage one requires welding, and stage two, fabrication, and finally stage three, final assembly. Within each stage, you can tell the system what raw materials and labor are required. So for example, during welding, we require 100 of raw material one, 100 units of raw material two, and four hours of labor. You can also tell the system what warehouse these items should come from. You can also define the issue method, for example, manual versus backflush, and where there is a production standard cost defined for an item or a resource, you can view that here. You can also select the respective price list that you want to use when viewing the individual unit prices for your raw materials. Those prices can then get rolled up into the parent product price.